Hi everyone, welcome to our Muro Moods global video series. I'm Sonia Trivedi, communications manager here at Muro, and I'm currently in the sunny Merida, Mexico for our global Muro event. We kicked off today with an inspiring lineup of speakers, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to our first keynote for the day, Mr. Scott Underberg, Muro CEO. Scott spoke about Muro's impact on the world and shared the incredible journey of the company in the past 25 years. Scott, hello. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's actually really nice to be here today with you because I know you're, it's your first Muro Mood That's overall, true. Yeah. right? Yeah. So you joined the company in February this year That's and right. I would really love to know more about your background. If you can share it more with our audience, that would be amazing. It's super impressive. So <laughs> tell us a little bit more about your role and your background in EdTech. Sure. So I uh, have been in online higher education my entire career. Uh, that is coming close to 25 years now. So I spent a lot of time, um, started in the US, uh, in the LMS business actually. Uh, the business that I was in, I was in, in that it was a company called eCollege that was acquired by Pearson in 2007. Um, and that sort of started a, a global journey for me. Um, I moved to London for the first time in uh, 2008 in a market development role, spent a lot of time traveling through Europe, the Middle East and Africa, looking for the best place for that solution to sit. That led to a number of other opportunities, which took me back to Denver for a short period of time, onto Australia for three and a half years. And uh, my family and I have now been back in London for the last seven years. So all of that time focused on online education initiatives, particularly around distance learners and making education more accessible to people around the world. Impressive, really impressive. And as you mentioned during your presentation, like Moodle has really impacted millions of millions of people all around the world, right? Yeah. If you can go back and share with us, like, what are these most transformative moments in Moodle's history mm. that really shaped the platform and where we are today? Yeah. Well, I mean, the one that springs to mind immediately is the decision 25 years ago um, by Martin to create a brand new alternative open source product as an, al as, as an alternative to the proprietary uh, solutions that were currently in place. That was focused predominantly on the higher education market at that time, uh, but it created such a fantastic platform that it very rapidly took off and grew because it was so widely available. Um, you roll that forward and you start to see uh, the growth of that and the institutions that pick it up really needing to have support in the way they implemented it and that then spawned the partner program which has become a very very important piece of what we do today to make sure that we have certified partners and certified integration partners that can provide services to those organizations. Um, then if you think Forward from there, one of the most transformative things that Moodle did was to release Moodle Workplace, um, a specialized version of Moodle LMS focused on the corporate learning market. Um, and uh, then probably the next point in time really is uh, this year when Martin decided after 25 years of significant impact, reaching over 400 million learners and 150,000 registered sites, uh, to step away from the leadership role and to focus on research and development. And that's what's given me the great privilege of being able to step into this position. Amazing, amazing. So much of history, right? Yeah. To just condense in five minutes or so. But like, my next question is really, as Moodle continues to empower educators globally, like, what do you think are the key areas of development uh, that uh, you decide to focus on, like moving forward to ensure that the platform remains accessible and impactful for the next generation of learners? Um, so I think one of the most important things is uh, what we'll decide not to change. Um, and that is that we are committed to maintaining a freely available, fully open source, enterprise capable LMS that will always be central to who we are and to what our, our goals and objectives are. That's how this continues to be accessible and available. Um, but there's loads of feedback from users in all segments where the product is used about things that they would like to see. So we'll continue to pour additional investment to address those things. Um, uh, one of the things that everybody's asking about right now is what is Moodle doing with AI? And so uh, we have just released Moodle 4.5, which has our AI subsystem 
in it, which means the very first step is providing a platform on which all of our users can build and make choices about how they want to use AI in their learning experience. OK, great. And I remember in your presentation, you talked about creating impact impactful learning experiences, and you shared some amazing stories. Can you <laughs> share a little bit of that to our audience today? Yeah. Um, uh, one of the things that has been really fun in the last eight months is uh, not just learning about the mechanics of the business or the layout of the Moodle ecosystem, but many of the more personal stories, the things that are uh, the projects that our partners are supporting or that institutions are embarking on or individuals are doing. Um, so today we got to talk about a few of those. We talked about a project in Guatemala uh, where one of the major banks as part of its corporate social responsibility programs has created a, a project on Moodle to provide financial education to Guatemalans abroad. Um, we talked about a huge project in, in Panama that was initially a reaction to the pandemic but has now been rolled out across the education system to provide better access to educational resources across the country. Um, there's a really, really exciting project that's been worked on in South Australia called the Inventorium, focused on students who've dropped out and using Moodle in a highly customized fashion as a, a means of bringing them back in where mainstream education didn't work. Um, and then we've heard lots of stories from teachers all over the world about how they're using this to change lives of students and how students are seeing that as an opportunity to escape the poverty that they're in in places where there's economic suppression and, and challenges. Yeah, and I'm sure there are many more, right? Many, many more. <laughs> many more, definitely. You mentioned a little bit about AI and remaining open source and so on and so on. But looking ahead, I would like to like dig a bit deeper and ask you, how do you envision Moodle evolving uh, to meet the growing needs of educators and learners globally, including uh, the learners in the challenge areas, and underserved communities, and so yeah. on? Um, I think one of the things that's happening in education generally is that there's an increasing need for uh, a higher level of self-directed learning, even in, within traditional education settings. Uh, one of the things I talked about this morning is that we see a vision for the future where we can help move education in a way that it evolves so that the role between student and teacher becomes more fluid, which isn't to say at all that, that we will see the importance of teachers or formal education from teachers changing, but there's more capability that students have, more tools they have access to, to drive the learning on their own, which means that the role of the teacher is changing slightly to become a coach and mentor in many cases. Um, so one of the things that we're doing and thinking about is what happens within Moodle to help support that kind of self-directed learning. How do you make it so that students have more agency and so uh, that the richness is really in the interaction and, and the guidance and not just in content creation or um, uh, consumption. Okay, great. And my last question to you today is like, what message would you like to leave with educators and organizations using Moodle today as the platform continues to evolve and meet the needs of learners globally? Um, probably the most important thing is what I close with today, which is that no matter what comes in the world of education, no matter how advanced the technology becomes, no matter how good the tools are, none of that replaces the importance of the teacher. Um, we uh, have long had a mission for uh, empowering educators, um, and that's something that we want to continue to do. The relationship that is built between teacher and student is the fundamental keystone to a learner actually progressing and moving on. And so we are excited to continue to support that and see all of the richness that comes from those relationships, um, and hopefully the support that we can provide them through technology and Moodle as well. Perfect, perfect. Well, thank you very much for being with me today. We are super excited to see what's next for Muro, and thank you for your leadership driving this forward. Enjoy the conference. Great, thank you so much, Sonia.